Hi guys. I've been trying to get everything together that I could possibly think of that I could need for this bottle project today. And I think I have everything except I forgot to grab my water. I'm gonna do that while you guys are jumping on. I'm gonna grab a, a water real quick. <laughs> I have it right here. It's not very full, but I got a feeling, oh, there's a pen. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. What is that? That's a needle. Great, nice thing to have on your floor. In my bare feet. Hi guys. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I swear to you. My Zoom call ended 45 minutes ago and I've been gathering stuff all along. I'm feeling thirsty already. So I thought I'd grab a drink. So buckle up. This is going to be a big one. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be really big. So hi, I'm Tammy Neff. You're on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage, um, where I love to share with you all of the vintage treasures that I love, and I hope that you love them too. And I am hoping to inspire you all today um, to go through your, uh, your treasures and your grandparents' treasures and your parents' treasures, um, go through the barns, go through their basement, just, you know, their garage, uh, grandpa's old uh, square nail, square head nails, or rusty washers, or whatever you can find, um, and make a bottle, make a keepsake, make something for someone in your family, and say all of this stuff from, came from Grandpa's house. Um, something like that. I think that's so cool. So um, I'm, I'll, I know I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll calm down here when we get going. There's a lot to cover and I hate to be on forever, but it's just one of those things that just takes a while. So I'm, I've really been trying to think, how can I, you know, compress this into a shorter video? Um, I'm just going to see how it goes. So, um, if you've not caught me before, I always um, work on my projects and then when I'm all done, we'll talk, we'll chat, I'll look at your comments, I'll um, say hello if you say hello, um, you tell me anything you want, talk about the weather, if you have a question, answer, you know, I'll answer those questions, um, but all of my videos are usually shared over to YouTube and so they can't see any of the comments so they just hear me say, Hey Sherry, hey Barbara, like out of the blue, and it's just kind of weird. So um, I, that's another reason why I like to save all of the chatter for the end. So anyway, um, how I thought I would start this out, since a lot of you probably don't even know what I mean by decorating a bottle, um, I thought I would show you some that I love, that I have made and kept. Um, most of these, I think I did the last time we did a video together. Um, I know I sold a lot of them. Um, there's, there's. Um, some supplies for these bottles on my website. It's just TammyLovesVintage.com. It's just the name of this page.com. And um, so you can go there and look uh, if you need some vintage treasures or message me. I have, I have a whole room full of stuff that needs to be put online. I just haven't, I've gotten to a lot of it. You'll see when you look at the website, there's like 20 some pages of stuff, but I have a lot, lot more and it just takes, it takes a lot to get it all on there. So uh, please message me. I, I mean, look at that, I have tons, there's more lace upstairs. This is all antique, handmade, very pretty lace that I try and gather whenever I'm shopping. Um, so there's buttons, there's just so many things. So anyway, let's get started here. Uh, first up is a bottle that I have loved. I found this top when I was antique shopping and I thought it was awesome. It's a forged uh, metal top in a corkscrew piece of wood and I have always loved that top and so I finally found a bottle that it it didn't go so far down in that you lost the threads because I thought that was really a nice um, I'm gonna say texture, but a nice dimension to the bottle. And then I just decorate it with, with all of the little things. You know, there, maybe you could find an old car key from grandpa's garage, or maybe bust up grandma's old watch. Um, that's a little bigger, that's more like a, um, a pocket watch size, but um, we have a lot of ladies watch faces. I'm trying to see if I have any on any of these. Of course, I probably don't. But anyway, this is one bottle all done. Ran some buttons up the back where you glue the seam. So this is an idea of what we're going to be making today. Um, here's another. I just pulled the ones that were behind me and over in the my kitchen, not my kitchen, but my eating kitchen area. So here's another one. This is like a, 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 a faucet or a gas. Um, a valve, that's what it is, a valve. And I put a pretty button on the end to cover the hole. My husband thinks I should leave the holes open, but I kind of like them finished off. Um, it's less, 
it's less rustic. Here's one. So like, like see how rustic this is and then see that it's just more industrial and I feel like when you when you put the button on there, it just makes it prettier. See the difference? Big difference. So I kind of like that. And you can find these, like here's a, a rusty one and here is a pretty brass one. Now not to say that this one wasn't brass to start with, I have no idea. And you can clean them, I know all of that. I just don't. So <laughs> I kind of like the patina and the finishes and you'll see how the tops, like just like this, for example, I'm jumping right in. I hope you guys are keeping up. Um, but so for example, if you were going to do a bottle with this, I think it would look great with rusty old washers, maybe one little rhinestone thing just to make it, uh, I'm not curious, interesting. I would say more curious, but more interesting. It makes the person more curious about your uh, piece of art, I guess we'll call that. And then this brassy one would be more like gold buttons and, and charms. And to me, it just kind of leads the way for the feeling of the bottle, if that makes sense. And sometimes I'm in the mood to throw it off. So I'll have a, like a, like a, a glittery doorknob or drawer pull. This is a drawer pull, but I'll have a drawer pull like this and, um, I'll put it on with a bunch of rusty stuff. You just never know. It's whatever's in your mood, whatever you're in the mood for. I guess my point is there's no rules about this. You just do what you like. I know I'm gonna stand up and knock these over in a rush. Here's what I'll do. I'll lay them here. Okay, so here's another one that went totally girly. Um, it's an old white doorknob, porcelain doorknob. I added some bling. We'll just work our way down the bottle. I added some bling uh, around the top, just an old bracelet cut up. This is seam binding that I've spritzed and stained. I'll show you guys, see the staining on there. I'll show you guys all of this if you hang out with me. Again, it takes time. Any of you that are gonna be, um, you know, like get on with it or something, this probably isn't a good video for you to watch, okay? Because you'll wanna come back maybe and fast forward and see what the heck happened but um, it takes time to do these. So this one we've just layered. Um, there's a, the, the bottom, probably a handkerchief I'm gonna say is what this was. Um, so there's that. Let's see, here's another one. Now this is really cool. I made this bottle um, quite a while ago and I never quite knew which was the front and which was the back. Um, so there's one side. And then here's the other side, and I never really knew. Well, I went uh, antique shopping and I found this little clip-on magnifier, and I love, I love that. And this was a bottle that I struggled with because the topper just has like a toothpick would fit down in there. Like nothing fits in the hole. Like that's another important thing is how big, how big of an opening do you have determines what you're gonna put on the top sometimes as well. Like you may know you want a certain thing, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna adhere well. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. So anyway, I had this little ball, a little glass ball, and never knew what, you know, what I was gonna put it on because the openings were always big and it kind of swallowed up the ball so that the top is a little bit puny right? It's a little small for the bottle, but when I found that piece, that just was like, oh, it made it, it made it, right? It made it really super cool. So, um, okay, here's another one. I, I think I just showed you guys this one, and I think I showed it to you last night. It was behind me, so there's another one. I've got three more just to show you some different shapes. Here's a little tiny one. This one already had a label on it, and I didn't want to cover that label. Uh, let's see, it is uh, from Pennsylvania, doesn't matter, I can't, I can't, I got my glasses here, let's see. Catanning, Pennsylvania, I'm probably saying that way wrong. Anyway, this was a, a finial from the top of a lamp. I use those a lot um, when I can find them, find pretty ones. Anyway, so there's that bottle. And then I have a couple more sitting here that I just love because you can see, for, like they're just little, see how little they are? So, and then it's just got a glass top in there. Uh, and then I have another one here. Just little tiny, so we went from big to little, and then if you look, yesterday I posted one that was, like I have one here ready to go, and I posted one, it was even bigger than this, like look how big this one is. So I posted one even bigger than this, it was a, it was an old whiskey, um, a whiskey bottle. So um, I was just upstairs though digging, I was, um, I have a lot online for you guys. So what I thought is maybe I'll give away like a, a kit to make a bottle for one of you guys. Somebody watching, um, I will give a kit to you guys. Um, maybe, oh, I hate to say if you, 
if you sprinkle, but sprinkling is probably the best thing you can do for me. So if you do sprinkle, message that you do. And whenever um, I'm about done, I'll look back through the comments and the first one that I see that commented sprinkle will be the winner. That's how I'm gonna do it. So um, there won't be any favoritism or anything like that. And whatever shows up on your phone probably isn't gonna show up like it does on my phone. So we'll just, you know, I'm just gonna scroll through and the first one that wrote sprinkle um, will be, who I pick, but um, I'm not gonna do that until later. I'm, I don't wanna get into all that until later. So, but I can tell you that online, you know, there are a few bottles. There are three awesome, awesome bottles that are labeled. So you don't have to do a lot. Um, they're labeled like this little one that I showed you last night. Got an awesome label. There's three of them. And honestly, those three sit so well together. I hesitated to put them in there. If they stay in there much longer, I may pull them out. <laughs> I really, really like them, but we'll see. Anyway, also online, um, let, me, let me pull this. So this, I think this will be the bottle that I'm gonna give away, um, unless somebody goes online and buys it. If somebody goes online during this video and snatches this bottle, then um, I'll have to pull another bottle. Maybe I'll do one with the top already on it, maybe. Um, or I'll have to run to town and get, get some more bottles. There's antique shops all around me, so it's not a problem. Anyway, but online you'll find lids, or not lids, but tops, like this porcelain wheel. I have a bunch of those. I have, um, let me see what else do I have. I have these, um, I have a bag full of all different kinds of wheels. Well, I'll just use this one. But yeah, see how that fits really well in here? I love the, their, their old caster wheels. So that works great in the tops. I know these things are online because I pulled them out from upstairs. And then this doorknob is great too. Now that sits a little, it's a little bit tight, so I wouldn't use it in this bottle. I would want one where I could set it really well. But this doorknob is in there. It's a great, it's got a great look to it. There's, I know there's a set of doorknobs on there that if you get it, you get two, you unscrew them and you get two door, two top bottle toppers. This was in there. I wish I would have remembered that I had this. Wouldn't that have been cool in the top of my big whiskey bottle? Because it's it's pretty big. I tried my tops that I don't have already glued in. Oh my gosh. I mean, that would take a little bit of rigging up to hold that up, but that's super cool. If that, I've always kept these. I buy these faucets and prop them in my decor, like just beside of a candlestick or a, leaning up against a book or something like that. This one's online because I found another one with more patina on it, um, but I've had that one for a long, long time. So these are things that um, that I'm about here, and I and I do try to share a lot of antique things with you guys. Um, there's a ton of keys on there for tying on. Um, I'm gonna have a couple of girls. I think I keep trying to find someone to help me, um, and. Uh, I, Angie was great at taking pictures. I had a girl, Holly, but Holly was great, but I always felt bad. Her husband had to drive her here 45 minutes to my house to work, and I always felt so guilty to have her come, um, but I'll probably have Holly back again uh, sometime here, but anyway, um, I've got so much. I need like a tag team, and we, we haven't been very busy painting, so I thought I'd bring a couple of the painting girls in to help me out, so... Anyway, be watching for some more stuff. So let me, I hope this is okay. Instead of you guys, usually I put you over here across from me so I can see you when I'm talking and then I tip you down, but you're always backwards to me. So I put you on a tripod today beside of me. And since I'm not looking at the comments, I can't, I don't really know. I'm just gonna hope. I think it's gonna be better though because it'll be forward facing for both of us instead of you guys backwards trying to see what I'm doing. So. Um, all right, let's get moving here. I laid out a couple just because I know I had a couple comments the last time I did this that, you know, they make you feel bad. So, <laughs> because I wasn't getting with getting on with it. So, uh, I laid out a couple of things, but I'm sure it's going to change as I go. So, I, ha I want to show you about the tops. Now, I have done some tops already, like these faucet tops. I love um, these are this is a really miniature set I've done faucet tops before but I found these after I did those and I had a heck of a time finding bottle oh finding bottles that they would fit into and I finally did and I love this set because they're so tiny so I'm this is gonna be a keeper I'm sure for me um, I don't think you'll be seeing this online but I wanted to try to get some of these bottles done 
Um, I know I've shown you some of this stuff already, so I'm just gonna keep on, I'm just gonna get going. Not keep on going, but get going. So let me know, I guess, I don't know how you're gonna let me know when I'm not looking at the comments. Um, I'll just cross my fingers that you couldn't tell. So if you remember last night when I was making the little, um, the little rosettes, like this with muslin that, uh, or an old sheets and ticking, whatever, that I really wanted to put this red knob in this bottle. It's a, it's got a real pretty, it's a pretty glass, oh, how can you see? I don't know that you can see it from where you are. The light is just glowing red for me, but you guys are real dull. They are there, you can kind of see the red, but it's real, it's like a crystal ball red. Um, oh, you, you guys can't really see it very well, but it, it is, trust me. And then this bottle with the red label. So I really want these together, like go, go together. They won't. So I found a washer, a rusty, a rusty washer. Like I tell you to go get in your, uh, the barn and dig out the rusty washers. And then I was going to adhere this to the washer but the whole of the washer is almost the same. There's not a lot to glue onto, so I just don't feel confident that it's gonna stay. So then I went digging some more and I found a smaller one. So this one would sit right on top. So the big one grabs the lip of the bottle. The small one will grab this, and then that gives me a much bigger surface to glue to. And then that gets my top that I want on the bottle that I want. Now don't worry about all of this this can be wrapped with ribbon and covered um, like this one was. This one had a really long neck and see how it all just goes away and blends in with the bottle. That's what's gonna happen here, okay? So what I would do is take E6000 um, and oh, I should have got a star. That was the other thing I forgot to do. I did it yesterday and then I didn't do it today. So it probably isn't too, yeah, it's coming. Okay, it's not too dried up. Okay. I also kind of wanted to start with a fresh uh, piece of cardboard, but I didn't feel like cleaning all this stuff off of here. So we just went, we just went scuzzy <laughs> with a scuzzy board today. Okay, so all I'm doing, hopefully you guys can see me see, I never worry about that because I always have you looking down kind of at me. All right, so this isn't quite gluey yet. Okay, so you just squeeze out your E6000 once I get it rolling here. And then I'm going to just press it where I want it. The reason I use E6000, it glues metal to metal, glass to glass, metal to glass. It glues the things that the hot glue will not, um, do I have anything to wipe this off with? No. Um, that the uh, hot glue will not stick to. You know, hot glue doesn't glue metal very well. It doesn't glue glass very well. Um, so, you use E6000. There's all sorts of products out there. People are talking about their, there's a Gorilla Glue that replaces E6000. You know, the E6000's always been fine for me. I've made a ton of belt buckles and a ton of bottles, and I've always used it, and I'm not opposed to trying something else. I have something else even in here that I've just about used up that did just fine, but anything that's comparable to an E6000, you'll be fine. Okay, and even though these are rusty, they'll stay, they'll stay glued. And let's say you order a bottle uh, and something comes and it's, and it's broken off, or let's say your dog knocks, or your cat, I guess, would probably knock, the, knock a bottle off of the stand. Just pick up whatever fell off and E6000 it right back on and it will be perfectly fine. You did not, hurt, unless the bottle busts, but, um, but yeah, if you knock the top off, it'll be fine. Just glue it back down. So, and this stuff does tack pretty quickly. So there, yay, finally married. Hello, are you happy? <laughs> I'm happy, <laughs> I've wanted to see these two together for a long time, yay. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this to the side so that it can dry and cure. Um, takes a little while, but not, not forever, uh, it takes maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes, a half hour, probably, something like that. So this one sits in this just fine, and I've been trying a few tops in a few bottles, and I have this amber bottle, and I really like, uh, I really like that top. So we're gonna go with that. I don't think this top made it to the website yet. I hope not, because here it goes. It's getting attached to a bottle. I'll have to look and see. 
Um, there we go. If it is, they'll just have to get a bottle with it, right? Okay, so let me, yeah, I just, um, I don't hear a lot of pickup here. I think I held my glue in too close to the middle. I'm gonna put it around, but you can, like, you could hear it. I could hear it sticking or not sticking. And so you just wanna, like, wiggle it around and make sure that there's glue everywhere. Um, I can use my finger to clean it up a bit from where I wiggled it all around. And again, I'll probably cover that, but I really like the bottom of this knob. It's, oops, it's super rusty. Let me see here. It's super rusty looking, so I doubt, I doubt that I go this high. I'll probably leave the rim of this bottle show. Um, so yeah, I just wanna clean up the, the glue that oozed out a little bit. Uh, okay, all right. Happy with that. So let's set that aside to dry. Okay, then I have one more. I love this little spool that I found. I have all kinds of spools. I know I've sent you guys spools. Those of you that have ordered um, and said, hook me up, especially when I do my old tassels, um, you guys have picked up the spools, but um, I had not seen a spool like this one and I love it and I had to dig for it too, I remember. I remember digging, digging, oh my gosh. You need to take baby wipes when you go antique shopping because oh, I, need to, I need to keep that so I know what you got in this. Um, it, it, it's so dirty. It's, you can imagine digging through grandpa's old washer drawer <laughs> in the barn, right? So your fingers are just so dirty. And when you start digging for all these little things, it's, it's a lot. So, okay. So this, this spool needed a washer. When I put it on here, it's too close to the opening. It wants to sit a little wonky, a little not perfectly flat. So I found a washer earlier. So when I said I was trying to um, help myself along here. So I'm only just gonna do these three tops and I won't finish these bottles because the last time I did this with you guys, um, the, uh, the tops kept coming off because you need to turn your bottle every which way. And so I've already adhered some tops for today so and i'm not going to do of course i'm not going to do all of these bottles i don't i wouldn't have it my my mind would be um burned out if i did them all so we're just going to do a couple so when i look at this spool i got something hanging oh there it is <coughs> when i look at this spool it's got a cool side uh see those two they're there see those two little pins and the other side doesn't have that it's just plain so always look over your piece what you're going to put up or down i'm going to put the two screws up just to add that much more interest to the bottle to me if you want it more clean and um let's see, i'm gonna put the glue on this if you want it more clean and um not as rustic then flip it over if you even have that object option sometimes um the spools will have a label on one end and not on the other so um if the label is kind of newer looking or a purple or a color that i don't really want to you know maybe i don't have jewelry to match a purple label i'll put the purple side down so i guess that's what i'm saying just figure out how you want it to be so there i got my top on a bottle okay <coughs> so excuse me so that is going to be ready to go let me grab a let me grab a sip here mm. i should have known i was thirsty before i started Jeez, sorry okay so um i did lay oh, i've got glasses here i've got glasses on i've got <laughs> I, have, I have three pair of glasses two here and one on my head <laughs> I wanted to make sure I could read your messages when we're all done. So let's start. Um, I pulled this one out. Now this bottle is, I don't know what they call this, but it's got like a clouding. I'm sure there's a word for it. I don't know what that word is, but it's really cloudy looking. Um, I would say it was an old medicine bottle. There's numbers up the sides. So when I'm looking at this bottle, it's flat on one side, round on the other. I need to decide which side I want to have as the front and which side I want to have in the back. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to put the, uh, the um, round side to the front. We'll see. 
And I picked out this piece of lace earlier. This is just, um, you know, I, honestly, I can't tell the handmade from the not handmade, but it's a very vintage piece of lace. There's no reason you guys can't go to Hobby Lobby and buy new lace. You don't have to find the vintage stuff. Uh, message me if you'd like to order some. I, I am fine to sell some. I've got a lot and I have restocked since uh, you guys about ran me dry. <laughs> so I've been to what three different shows now since then. So I'm all good to go again. Um, but you could easily, even if it's white, you could tea stain it to get it, give it that vintage color. Um, it's just for me, uh, we, I feel like I like that. I like knowing that it's really vintage, but it's not a hundred percent necessary to do that. Um, I'm gonna leave the curl the I'm gonna leave the numbers to the back. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is try and figure out like how do you want your lace to be? You put the lid back on this, it's oozing out. Okay, so do I just want it to be like a skirt here? My arm is in the way. Do I want it to be like a skirt? Um, and maybe put uh like here like this darker um oh, that's kind of big but but you get the you get the idea right oh you can't really see gosh i thought i had you guys set up the best way possible yeah you can see the two tones um <clears throat> but i feel like that leaves too much of the bottle but even if it does there's no reason that i couldn't come in with anything and just start wrapping the top which i'm going to do anyway um, and fill that in so it's just it's it's just however you want and whatever the shape of your lace is like I have these this flowered lace so you could even do you know do this and put just cut out one flower and a leaf and adhere it like that um, you could do that with it or you could run this run a band of flowers all the way around I know you guys can pick up something like this um i don't think this is old but it was in with old so who knows um and then you could put a button right here in the middle of the flower we're gonna get to all that but you could do that um oh let me see here oh here's some little here's some really little uh stuff let me see if i can get this tape off of here i bought a bundle that's really pretty for the edge. I think I'm gonna use that. Let's see if I can get the tape off of it. Here we go. Without ruining it. Okay, there we go. So, so we would have that. I'm gonna use this, I like it. With that, oh, how cute, look. Cute, it's a cute, well, yeah, it's a cute finish, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm not even gonna dig any deeper for anything else. I'm gonna do that on this particular bottle. So, <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do, since I know my lace, um, it, I know that it needs cut down a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, 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 just a piece of newspaper or whatever you have. This is a cardboard box uh, insert, but just whatever you have. And I'm gonna use a product called Super 77. I should have checked to make sure it was gonna spray and it wasn't tired. It's about gone, I need a new can. But I've got some other adhesive sprays downstairs. Any adhesive spray will work. Super 77 is probably really heavy for this. They make fabric adhesive, which would work just fine. But um, <clears throat> I just have this because if you're doing stenciling, it really holds your stencils down nicely. Um, so I just use it because it's what I have. Um, so if you have something else, just feel free to use that. Um, sometimes I spray the whole piece. Sometimes I just want the very top. You can hot glue that if you want. But when I have a nice thick piece like this, I usually spray it off so that um, it adheres really well. Okay, so I want it angled. So, so now it's super sticky, like, see? I'm not, it's sticky. <laughs> and the longer you let it, like you don't wanna just spray it and go straight here, it's not gonna dry on you. The only thing it's going to do is get even stickier and even tackier. 
So, okay, I kind of want this angled. So I'm gonna go like that. All right, and I'm gonna press it down. And this is all of the gluing that you need to do to your, to your bottle. Um, now, one thing I did wanna talk about for anyone that um, is in my crafting group, um, I usually, I haven't done these bottles for months and months, and it was a year. I always wait a year after we do a project in the group, um, unless I need something for like the craft-a-thon with Melanie, I'll do it, you know, a little, I'll do it sooner. But I like to have them get everything about a year ahead of everybody else. So the girls in there know that, you know, that I'll be sharing some of the projects that they're paying $15 a month to get. Because, um, I mean, there's only so many projects out there in the world. So you kind of, you kind of do have to eventually share. And it's not like it's any great big secret that you can't find somewhere else, you know? So, um, yeah, so there's that. So, so this has been done in the group forever ago and even done on this page probably more than once. Um, so that's why people were talking about my bottles and how maybe they've already purchased a bottle or whatever. So, okay, now I'm just trying to make this lay and, and be how I want it to be. I'm trying to get the most out of it too. Okay, now I got a wrinkle where it's stuck to itself. There we go. So I'm trying to get it to angle up. I need it up a little higher in the back than I want it in the front because I want to cover the neck of the bottle. So I'm going to start almost pleating it down. Um, there we go. See if I can save it. If not, I will cut it off because um, I don't want to waste it either. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be wasting. So let me see, how do I wanna end it? Um, okay, I'm just going to, ooh, I'm just gonna whack it. Oh, do I wanna do that? Yeah, I'm just gonna whack it off. There we go. Done, too late now, right? It is what it's gonna be. Okay, so let me spritz just a little teeny bit of spray here on the edge just so that it will hold it down, hold the edge down for me. Okay, just a little smurp there, nothing too crazy. And then I need to let it tack up just a bit. <clears throat> and I'm gonna pull it back down because I don't want it up onto the finial. So I'm gonna cover all of this with seam binding here in just a minute. So don't worry, it's all gonna be good. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off what is higher than I want it to be. Okay, I'll check your comments here in a little bit, you guys. So feel free to ask questions. Don't be mad if I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you, I'm just, I'm just keeping going here. I'm gonna put a little hot glue. When you glue fabric to fabric, um, E6000 is not gonna hold, I don't think, very well. So um, just putting some hot glue on there to hold it down. I have another little pleat right here that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to split it to release it. And then I'm thinking I should be able to press down the back and then overlap it. It should still be sticky enough. Oh yeah, that's laying much, much better than folded. Hopefully you guys were able, able to tell that. And I can't tell if, if, if the light's too bright or if you guys are good. I can't tell. It looks okay to me if I were watching. So hopefully you guys are okay. So now I'm all molded down. Everything is holding really well. Um, oh, that's wanting to lift right there. And rather than me trying to spray that little bit and not get it all over the bottle, I'm just gonna tack it down with some hot glue. That can happen to you if you make a bottle or if you find a bottle, um, or if you buy a bottle from me or whatever and you find from moving it around to dust or whatever, maybe it's lifting in a certain place, you can tack it back down really easily just like that. So, okay, now let me see about this. This is just, oh look, this is just a bunch of pieces, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's just pieces, pieces. Okay, okay, so, which is fine, that, that's fine. 
Okay, so I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do that with it. So let's spray. I'm gonna do this, well, I could hot glue that, but I really want it to lay flat. I don't want all these little petals to puff up. Sometimes I do, this time I don't. So I'm going to put it, what I think is face down. I'm gonna spray it. Oops, oops, I just sprayed the front side of that one. Okay, and then let it sit for just a bit. And then I'm gonna wrap it around. I need to, I got a wrinkle in my cardboard, so it's making my bottle wanna go forward. Let me see if I wanna cover that. Oh yeah, I think I do. I think I am gonna cover that section. So I'm gonna go right here where it ended. And I'm gonna overlap. I was thinking I wanted to follow that, hold it down over the lace, but I think I like covering up that line a little bit better. And that line goes all the way around here to the back side, all the way around, and it just stops perfectly on this side. So, oh, how cute. And so it, so now I need to decide if I, I don't think I do. I think I'm gonna let it stop like that because see, it's got a little ruffle in it, so it's very pretty. So here's where we are. Okay, here's where we are. It looks great with that big finial on top. And see how I've been holding it all around and so why if I freshly glued this down for you guys, I would be fighting that. That's what happened the last time I did these and I thought, why did I, I knew better than that. Why did I do that? I don't know but I did. So, okay, this is going back in. I'm gonna put that in with the tatting because it's small. Okay, so now the next thing that I want to do is start the decorating process of this bottle. So, or no, I don't. No, I think I'm going to put the, um, the lace on it first. And I didn't grab a spray bottle. Oh, darn it, I didn't. <sighs> okay, that's something else I wish I would have gotten. Um, so I'm, okay, this one looks probably the creamiest, oh no, this one looks, is that white or is that, let me see, this one, oh, is that the same? I can't even tell. So this is Hug Snug Seam Binding. I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. I have some upstairs already wrinkled and wadded up and I just forgot to grab it too. So do I wanna use one that's a little bit whiter or a little more the same? I think I'm gonna go a little more the same, a little darker. So let's choose, it's called Hug Snug. It's in my Amazon shop. I linked that for you in last night's video. I can link it again. Let me make a note um, so that you guys don't have to go searching. <clears throat> uh, in Amazon and then the spray stain. Okay, I wanna do those two things for you guys. Uh, I should link my website again, is uh, TammyLovesVintage.com. Um, I'll link that again too. So if you, when we're all done, if you look back through the comments, you'll see where I've linked that. And I know everybody's gonna say, what's your website, what's your website, what's your website? If you, <laughs> in case I don't, if I miss one or two of you, cause I'll just, I'll copy and paste and paste and paste and paste. So my website will show up like 20 times in the comments. So just know that if, if I miss your comment, just flip through and you'll find it. I promise you. I promise, promise. So, okay, we're going to lay uh, some hot glue here. And I, what I'm going to do now is cover the rim of the bottle um, with this Hug Snug. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna, oh, let's see, I'm gonna put another little dot so that it grabs. And I'm gonna go right over itself to cover up the rest of that bottle. <clears throat> then I'm gonna angle it down just a little bit. And it's already got lace on there, so I don't really need to do a whole lot. I'm gonna crisscross it back up on itself. I see we're here where I missed a spot on the bottle. So I'm gonna put some hot glue. I, I mean, I missed covering it. So I'm gonna put some hot glue and I'm gonna work my way back up to that spot. Make sure I get, there you go. I'll cover it up and I'm going to snip it. Uh, let's see, I need to snip it in the back. Which is the back? <laughs> I, can't tell, I can't tell what the back is. <laughs> I'm gonna make this the back because where I cut that at and where I cut that off, I'm not crazy for that. We'll have to fix that. <laughs> okay, so this is the back. Okay. I got some new fall greenery in too, by the way. Just a couple of pieces. 
Um, so I'll pro I probably am gonna come back on either later today or tomorrow and show you guys and um, probably do some discounting on that since it's getting so late in the season, but it's good. And we still have clear through Thanksgiving for it. So we've got plenty of time. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now I have my bottle all covered up. I'm happy with that. Oh, there's a, I'm not crazy about that. It's a little bit more glass showing. So that tells me I need to hold my ties up high instead of down low. It doesn't matter how, where you put your ties, honestly. And I don't know that anyone's even gonna notice that. Let me see if I can shove it up there a little bit. Can I, can I, can I set the tree? Let me see if I can, yeah, no, I don't dare pull on it. It's not wanting to pull. Yeah, that's gonna bug me. Just that little thing is gonna bug me. So let's just fix it right now. I'm gonna straighten this. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble getting that top because it's such a fine line. Because I don't want to cover that little rim of that finial, but I want to cover the rim of the glass. There, I got it that time. I got you. Oh, it's already gluing down. I can feel it. Okay, got it. All right, feeling better. Feeling good. I better just, just to be sure. Okay, so there we go. So now we are all covered. I just have this one whacked off spot right here. Hmm. What am I gonna do with that? Let's see here. I have the piece that I cut off in the trash. <laughs> Let me see if I can, uh, no, it must've just fell to the floor. Who the heck knows where? So, let me see. I want to even try to do that. Um, what do I want to do? All right, I got an idea, but I'm going to do it later when I'm sure of where, where the bottle's going to go and what I'm going to be using for it. So, okay, I'm just going to do two bottles today, you guys. So, um, I know I warned you it's going to take a minute. Okay, so then you want to figure uh, how long of ties do you want? And are you going to tie a bow or how are you going to do it? So that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to give myself plenty here. Um, so there's that. And we put the pin back in so it doesn't unroll on me. Okay. And so now I have the hug snug. Now what I really wish I had was my water mister, and I don't. So I do have, I did think to get a wet rag. So let's see if I can get it wet enough to wrinkle it up a little bit. I like to do this ahead of time and wrinkle it and dry it, and I just forgot. I think I told you guys last night how to go about that. Uh, with the rubber bands and you do a big ball of it, like half a roll of it, and it's great to have in stock. And I have it, it's upstairs. <laughs> I didn't think of grabbing that. Oh, I got, you can see all the stuff. I've made a million trips down here. But, oh well, I forgot that. So, okay, now I'm going to use a spray stain, which I wrote down to link for you guys. So I will be linking that for you as well. And it's just um, kind of ages this. Uh, and it leaves it a little dirty, maybe. And um, I bought that at a craft fair, but there are other kinds. So I'll link you some if you want to do that. If you go to Hobby Lobby and you just buy white ribbon, you can either tea stain it or you can stain it with the spray stain or you can do both. Um, usually, if I'm gonna go to the trouble to tea stain it, I will, uh, while it's drying, I will lay the bags right, I'll roll the bags up with all of it so then that you get really dark areas just from those bags. So this isn't gonna hold its wrinkle, darn it. It's too wet. It's too wet, which is making it too heavy, but it's still gonna be more wrinkly than if I didn't wrinkle it. Okay, so let me show you the difference of where we are now with this. So this is what this is what it looks like now. It's wrinkly and kind of dirty looking. Got that vintage sort of look. And here's how clean and white it was before. Let's see, how can I do this? So see the difference? So there you go. 
Okay. So now what I want to do, I think I'm going to tie it. Now I may cut those ties down, but I think I'm going to tie it. Um, if I were going to knot it, let me show you this. So I have all of these tails, so I could go in half again and just do a double knot. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That'll give me more um, length and not so much at the top. Okay. So then I'm just gonna cut off whatever. I'm gonna leave it a little long for now. And see, you know, sometimes that's really pretty to have draping over onto the table and sometimes not. I'm thinking I'm probably not gonna do that, but I just wanted to show you. So let me, and I may whack this way up once I get farther along, I don't know yet. So leave it longer than shorter because you may change your mind. So what I probably will do when I'm done is to wad this up here and clip it with a clothespin or something so that it uh, wrinkles as, as it dries so that it'll be even more interesting like, like this one is wrinkled and dry. See how it just stays in there really well and it's not so straight and flowy? I really like that. So for now though, we're gonna be like this. Okay, and it's almost, it's almost there, but not quite. So how pretty, like you could be done really, you could be done, but we're not. <laughs> but you could be, but we're not. But you could be, <laughs> but we're not. So, all right, so let's dig in here and see. I'm really picturing a, a chain of some sort. And I have a drawer full of gold and silver, which is just right here on top. So that means I was headed in the right direction, right? Um, so I keep old necklaces uh, that I don't want anymore. And then I also buy old chains, um, old rusty things. And interesting, um, I try when I'm getting the chains to get different sorts of looks of chain. Um, can, oh, you guys can't see that, I'm wasting your time. Um, but like bigger loops and, and squared, oh, let me show you. I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't know what's wasting your time. But here's a really cool chain, see that? That's a cool chain. Uh, of course, just your standard gold and silver chains. Oh, what's this? Let me see what this is. This is, oh, it's, a, it's buttons hooked to a chain which really match the finial on top. Wonder why, I'm, why, I wonder what's going on here. But only one button is, button is hooked and there's nothing missing. So, hmm, let me see. Let me just play around here and see what would happen if I, because that's exactly what I was thinking I wanted was some kind of a chain. Let's see what happens here. Do I wanna put it? here like this and let the uh, let the chain hang down put the button as the cover for the um, no make the button be the cover for the knot hang on here I'm kind of liking this in there with me. Oh gosh, I hope I'm not getting any mean comments yet. Okay, so then what would I do? I don't know that I want another one unless I put a patch down here on the back, which would be cute. I'm still not ruling it out. Okay, so, or let's see what happens if I leave it hang. Yeah, it's wanting to flip over, but I could glue it down. Or I could just cut the button off and use the chain. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just, that button's gonna be, it's a little too big for up here to me. Um, oh, you were all saying, no, I bet you. I can just imagine you're all saying, no, but you'll like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. If I decide it's a mistake, I can put it back. 
I can just glue it back on. Uh, okay, so I took that off. Now that's better, and that's going to hang down and give me uh, something to tie to. I wish I'd have brought the wire up here too. Oh well. Okay, let's see what else. Do we have anything else in this gold and silver? I have this old silver brooch. That's really cool, but no, it's not right with the bronzy look. What's this? Oh, an old cuff link. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I could incorporate a cuff link in here somehow. Hmm, like up under the bow. Did I double knot this? That's kind of, that's kind of neat. It's an old, old cuff link. Um, how can I show you? There, like that. And it's pretty. It's got a mark on it, um, like a, like a carving. Let's see, how can you see? I don't know. I don't know how you can see. Let's see, did I double knot? I don't think I did. Did I? I can't tell. I thought I did, but looking at it, no, I didn't. No, I didn't, okay. So let's see about doing this here. Shoving that little part of the cuff link. So see, you guys go through your, your grandparents' jewelry box, if you still have it, or smoking drawer or whatever it would be. Um, See what you can find because you just never know I don't know if this is gonna lay well let's see maybe if I tie another knot underneath it it would push it up a little let's see here let's go let me go under it and see this is why I tell you you can't be in a hurry because I mean I could mass produce these and make them in a hurry but you'll be able to tell you can tell when they're not like done with love you know <laughs> that's the truth you can tell okay yeah, I like that. Look how curious. Doesn't that make you curious? Like, what is that? And how'd she get that in there? And and uh, yeah, I like that. I think it's interesting. Okay, good. So, but my ribbons keep uncrinkling. So just picture them as crinkled. And see, now I've drawn them up even shorter because I went, whoops, because I went with that double knot. But I can't get it to go any tighter. Not that it's wrong. I'm just saying. Probably should have waited and cut them at the end. Okay, so there we go. So we have our cuff link tucked in there. Now let's get back to the chain. And of course it wouldn't be me if we didn't hang an old key off of here. I think this one's too silver. I laid a couple of keys out for just this situation, but I happen to have, I have a whole huge bag full upstairs, but I have some keys. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, well, it doesn't matter, I don't need it. Um, Okay, I have a whole bunch of keys online all laid out. And then I have more in this craft bag. And look, you guys, I even have like just regular old keys that just got like left out and they're not anything great, but they're not awful. Um, but just regular even, you know, tractor keys or whatever. Um, you guys can look on Pinterest how to rust them. I don't know how to tell you fast. Um, but there's all kind. I've got all kinds of keys here. Um, maybe the big folding one. Those are so cool. The key that was oh, it, it. It probably isn't gonna go. And yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, but I'm thinking that might be just too big for the bottle, and this is too long. I have this cute little one. I just I don't know. It jumped out at me. Let me see. What's this? Ooh, a Fleur de Lis pin. Ooh, how pretty is that? Let's stick that on there. Okay. So we're going to stick this pin on here. And, and every little thing you add to these bottles, you know, ups the price of the bottle. Because you had to pay for the finial. And you had to pay for the cuff link. And you had to pay for the chain with the buttons. And you had to pay for this. And you had to pay for this. Plus you had to pay for the lace. and this, You know, so it all takes... It takes a lot to make these bottles, but um, so that's why like they're not ten dollars. Uh, sometimes people will be like, oh, you know. But I try to hold them around thirty-five dollars, which is cheap. We always sold them in the sixties when I was at the shop, um, and we really maxed them out. Now I try to be a little more 
cautious with my shopping. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hang a key off of that. And I'm going to do this. It, oh, this is, it's got an eagle on it though. I don't, you know, of course, I mean, an eagle is the state of the world, but it's not as pretty. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I like the eagle. Which one did, yeah, this was $10. Okay, let's put this back. I'm, I like the idea of the Florida Lee pin, but it's real military looking. I don't, this is not a, this is more of a girly bottle, right? So those keys were dirty. And plus I got glue on there, so it's really holding it. All right, let's keep going here. Sometimes your keys are very pretty, uh, more pretty on one side than the other. This key, let me see here. Oh, it's got a lion. It's got a lion, I'm not sure you guys can make it out. It's got a lion on one side and then just some numbers on the other. So I think I need to put the lion side out. That's very pretty. Um, I wish I had a wire. Since I don't have a wire, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get in here to my seam binding that I used and I'm just going, oh, I hope I didn't make that too short because that's gonna be tricky. Okay. So I want the lion to be out front. So I'm just gonna tie this on with the seam binding instead of wire it, which when I cut the little tails of the tie off, this is great, you guys. When I cut the little tails of the tie off, it's gonna leave that little, uh, little bit of ribbon um, that's actually gonna add yet another dimension to the bottle. See, you might need to trim off just a little bit but how cute is that? So see, we just sweeted up. We just sweeted that up a little bit, okay? All right. So, okay. Now I feel like I still, I want a, like something else here. I don't think I want another key. Those buttons are too big. Um, let's see what's in this box. This is the part where the people get mad at me. <laughs> What's that? Oh no, that's a, like a mason's pin or something. Let me see here. I'm gonna keep digging. And that's black. I don't want that. Well, I may. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got another St. Christopher thing. But that's. I always think those are so pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so let's get another little snippet of ribbon. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer this time so I don't have to struggle so hard. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a, you could put, I did a locket on the other bottle. I think I put a St. Christopher on here. I think they're cool to um, know that someone just put their heart and soul and praying on this piece right here. And so I don't find that creepy at all. Like you know, when you use the old rosaries and stuff, I, I, I find it like almost honoring someone. And I don't buy the super expensive, like those things can get really expensive. I don't buy them when they're super expensive. I buy them when they're torn apart or because the chains on rosaries, if you know what I'm talking about, are absolutely gorgeous. So um, just bits and pieces of the chains are great. But just to know that little fact about that piece is just, um, I don't know, it's comforting to me. Okay. Okay, so let's cut that down. So now we've got a couple of charms on here. Put that back to center. Pretty, 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 right? Simple. I don't really have any spot for buttons, but I feel like I want a few buttons. So, hmm, let me get my glasses off here and see how do I wanna get some buttons. I already know that I'm going to put some buttons here to cover that. So let's do that first. And I want really odd, I want odd shapes. Let's see, that one's got a lot of string on that side, but this is the front side, but ooh, I like that string. Okay, I'm gonna put this button on upside down because I want the string to show. When you, um, 
if you're at Goodwill and you see a shirt with some great buttons on it, leave the strings on there. It makes all the difference. Like, let me show you. Let me show you. Here's the, here's the difference. In a regular button in this hand, if you can tell, and then this one has the stringing in it still. So if you flip it over, you get a ton of texture. Yeah, see that? So it's kind of cool to still have the fabric in there. Again, if you want that vintage look. Whoops, I almost dropped it. If you want that vintage look. So I'm gonna put this one upside down again because I really like that pile of fabric. Oh my gosh, yeah, look. See, it just adds more to the button than just the button itself. If that, oh, I keep dropping them. If that makes any sense. So let me see here, I need a little, oh, I might as well stick with all of them stringy. That one. Oh, that one's not as good. The strings are really coming out, but I think it'll hold. And maybe just one more teeny tiny. Let me see if I can find a teeny tiny. Here's a small one. Just stick in there. Uh, I need to stick it underneath that little, yeah. Nah, I don't know if I like that or not. You know what? I think I'm going to just leave it. I think I'm going to snip this leaf of this or this petal of this flower from the other one and I'm going to move it down a little bit because it's like too close for a button there that filled in that space and this is wanting to lift anyway I'm going to hot glue these down just a little bit these are the ones that I sprayed both sides so it's like sticky on the on this side so every time I grab the bottle it's sticking to me and pulling it up so that's how I fixed that little bottom cut, which really just added detail and um, interest to the back. Now I want to do, I think I, I could be done, you guys. I could, you know what, I should totally be done just so that we can move on to the next one because I don't know how long I've been on here, but I think I will be done. I may, I like this little ruffle. I would love to add the buttons here. I'll go ahead and do it real fast. You guys, you want to see, you don't want me to show it to you. Here you go. Here's what I did when I, when you weren't watching me, I want to do it with you. So what I'm going to do, instead of covering up that little, um, ruffle that I like so much, it's kind of got a pink cast. I'm just going to glue here at these points. There's a little point in this fabric. And so I'm going to glue I don't want my buttons to look the same. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. See, it just, <laughs> the more you do, the better. I mean, I'm sure you can overdo it. I'm sure it could be overdone, but really, the more you do, the prettier they get. And you saw, I could have stopped and added nothing to this bottle and it would have been beautiful. And yes, my key is moving and my St. Christopher is moving, but I kind of I kind of like that. I like them being free <laughs> and not glued down, not, not all. I like them having a little motion to them. So that's all up to you. Okay, I'm out. Oh, there's one more point there. Let's see it. One more point. This button's kind of dirty, but um, where'd that go? Oh, here we go. One more point before they all get cut off. But the dirt on the button really makes you be able to see it and it makes it different than the others. Okay, so let's check out the other side. I think I need to do it over here too. Um, okay. So, that one I like the top of that button better. So when I'm doing these bottles, and I say, I'm gonna make some bottles, this is what I'm doing. And I'm going to continue working on all of these bottles so that um, I can put some in the shop for you guys to give as gifts for Christmas gifts. Um, there are some already in there, but I think I want to um, make some more for you. Someone asked me if I would ever put the bottles in with the tops already done and just let you decorate the bottles. And I could, I, I maybe I'll give that a try too. I feel like I need one more button maker. 
um, I could give that a try for you guys. Anything you, you think of, if I can do for you or that you would love to see from me, um, just let me know. I, I am open, I'm learning my way here. Uh, I've always had a, a regular store. I've never done this online thing like this before. So I don't know um, what you, what I can do for you, but I'm happy, happy to help you out however I can. Okay, I'm just cutting off some stringage. I think it's sticking to my glue here on the board. Okay, now I think that's enough. I think that is plenty. I don't want to overdo it. There we go. Maybe, maybe I better tack that chain down just to, because I keep having to adjust it. So I think I'm going to lift, I'm gonna lift this ribbon up here just a bit. I'm gonna put a tack, just a dot of hot glue up there. I'm gonna shove this chain up into that and pull the ribbon down over and that will hold that chain where I want it because I kind of like that bumping off of that corner of that bottle and I like the key straight down. That holds everything into place. So there you go. I didn't I didn't glue it down, but I kind of glued it down. <laughs> there you go. So we have one and done. One and done. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I love it. I love this. Now, I did not glue that in and I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it but I really want this more wrinkled if possible. It's still a little bit damp. Um, so yeah, I need that to wrinkle up. And I don't have any clothespins in here, so we'll just try to lay it down and see if it'll, maybe I'll just shove it underneath there. Maybe that'll be good enough. Okay, so I have another bottle here. I've put a top in it. I don't know if you guys want to see another bottle or maybe, I, maybe I've done enough and maybe I better just stop. Ooh, that's really on there, this price tag. You know, sometimes these bottles sit in these booths for years. <laughs> oh, I thought it would just peel right off. I didn't even worry about it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm going to assume that there's a few of you that would like me to keep going. And I'm going to say anybody else that's like, oh, I don't think you should do any more. You guys can just jump off and um, maybe come back at the end of the replay and see how it finishes out. So I think I'm going to keep going just because the ones that don't want me to keep going can get out. And that, that makes everybody happy. So you guys can jump out um, before I start this one or hang around for a little while if you'd like to see... What I'm gonna do, um, that's fine too. But let's get a roll in here on this bottle. Who knows how it's going to end up. Um, but I, I bought this collar. This is an old collar. See the back and then this would come around the front like this and I forget what she called this, but it was some sort of handmade stitching. I cannot remember what it was but it was a little more than I wanted to spend. It was like $20, and I never spend that much on a piece of lace like this, but the way she was talking about it, I, and I just love the thinness. I, st I think I started to tell you that. If you guys buy lace from Hobby Lobby, when you're doing these bottles, you want it thin, as thin, thinner, um, not the big, thick, chunky. Um, it just doesn't cover as, I don't know, the thicker isn't as nice as the little thin stuff. I'll give you that tip. Um, but I love this and it's got little raised flowers in it and the fact that someone handmade it and oh, I'm, I am not only gonna make you sick, but I'm gonna make myself sick and I'm gonna cut it. Um, she, she came down to $10 on it and she said, oh, I hate to know you're gonna cut it, but once it's yours, I don't care what you do with it. Um, and it's in such great shape, but if you think about it, what am I gonna do with a collar that is perfect? Like I don't, I'm never gonna do anything with it, but if I do a bottle, I'm gonna love it forever, right? So I think I'm gonna cut it. I've, I've been stewing on this, and I'm not sure this is the bottle I wanna do it with, but I've got plenty of this. So that's a little backstory on this place. <laughs> so, but I just picture, just like I just did, like I have this in my mind that this is gonna hang freely, and it's gonna be tied up 
tied up here like that. I think it's gonna be so pretty. I wish I could remember what it was, and if I knew I was going to resell the collar, I would have written down what she called it, but I knew that I wasn't going to. So I knew I was going to cut it up. So I just need to see how I'm going to do it, and I think that is exactly how I'm going to do it. Oh, okay, let me just breathe on this for a minute because, wowee, just to think that somebody a long, long time ago sat and made this by hand is just a lot to absorb, isn't it? Like, wow, don't be mad at me if I cut this, okay? Because I am going to. I think I'm going to. Something's telling me not to, but... I'm going to. Here we go. Here we go. Done. It's cut. Done. Over with. Done. I'm going to, though, just run the hot glue over the edges of this so it doesn't unravel. I don't know if it will. Um, but yeah, let's just, just a little teeny bit just so that it stays. When I'm digging through that box, it'll get sunk to the bottom and uh, yeah. I think I want to protect it a little bit at least. Okay, so done deal, done. Painless now, it's over. Just like a shot. Okay, so going back to the E6000. I already have my top E6000 end. I mean, I'm going into my Super 77. I didn't mean to say E6000. Gonna go into my Super 77. The top is already E6000 onto the bottle here the crystal knob. Um, I want this to flow. Let's see, I need a, what is that? Hang on a minute, let's see something. It was just a piece, oh, it's my gum wrapper <laughs> the other night. Okay, let's, I make sure I'm right side. Okay, so the good side is down. I'm gonna put this wrapper over this part so when I spray it, that stays um, not sticky. I'm gonna add some Super 77 here. Okay, it's just a spray adhesive. Okay, now I've sprayed this whole thing down. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So, I know, I'm giving it just a minute here to tack up, just a, just a few, seconds here to tack up. Put my bottle here where I can work it. I don't want it to fall over onto itself. I wish I knew what this needlework was called. It does not matter what it's called. I just think it would be cool to know to tell you guys. I should have written it down. Well, I took too long thinking about it <laughs> in that booth and she had a great big platter in her booth that was the iron stone. I have nowhere to put it, I have no way to use it, and I was trying to decide, do I wanna buy that, you know? So that's why she gave me a deal, because I bought them both. I have nowhere to use the platter. I've had it outside, I've had it everywhere, and I thought, oh, why did I buy that platter? But I love it. So I've kept a hold of it, because I always move my stuff around. But it's iron stone, and it was huge, and I don't have one. So, okay, there's that. Let's see, I, I've got it way more of an angle than what I had it earlier, don't I? Why do I have it like that? Let me see here, I gotta get myself figured out. Oh, here we go, okay. All right, I got it now. Okay, I was covering the back instead of the front. All right, here we go. We're good. Lay it flat. So all of you, all of you guys' projects are going to be different from mine um, because we're all going to use different pieces of lace. If you can't find old lace, message me. I have not taken the time to put any online yet, but I do have a lot. And so if you need some, message me and tell me like what you want to spend. Do you need stuff too? Um, I'll. You know, I'll talk to you guys and help you out, whatever you might need. Um, 
not so much for me to be selling it, but for you guys to be able to make one of these for yourself. Um, what we've done in the past is I'll just say, how much do you want to spend? You know, I've had no one's gone over $125 and no one's gone under 25. And so, um, if that gives you an idea, so you can just spend whatever you want. And that's how much, you know, that's how much you get. Of course, the more you spend, the more you get, <laughs> so, obviously. Okay, so I'm, I'm sticking to myself here, and I'm not sure what I want to do with this wad back here. Um, I left it a little bit long just in case I wanted to play with it a little bit. <clears throat> but I was picturing it pulled together pulled together here and tucked down but boy that's thick I don't think I thought it would be that thick so let me try folding it and see here what I can do I wasn't allowing for all of those rosettes in there yeah, I've got to cut it down just a little bit more Hmm. Or I'll change the front of my bottle to this. Wrap it on around here. And cover it higher. Yeah. I think I might do that instead. I hate to waste any of this. I want to say she called it some kind of stringing, but I'm not sure it was, that was her word. She was so knowledgeable. She picked this up. Well, this is a French blah, blah. And this is, you know, well, this came from you know, wherever. And <laughs> she knew, she was so good about the lace. And a lot of people are, you guys. You go to a lace booth, get ready, because they know, they know what they got. What you're looking for is a man that's trashing all of the woman's sewing treasures. <laughs> that's what you're looking for. Because he doesn't know that he has some fantastic something or other, you know? He doesn't know. He just wants rid of it. And I'm just going to cut it up. I'm not a collector. You know, there's people that collect this lace and hang it off of ladders and stuff and... I'm just trying some things here. I'm still not sure I love it. I maybe should have tried a different piece. I thought it was just gonna go right down easy. I'm trying to make a, maybe make a roll here. I'm good with this wrapping around to here and then I'm in a, I'm in a quandary what to do with all of this. So here's what I'm gonna do. Where's my scissors over there? Okay, cut this off. Oh. So sad, right? Okay, cutting that off. I'm going to unwrap this. I'm going to smooth this down. It needs some more sticky, doesn't it? I think I need a little more sticky. I've handled it too much. Okay, flip it over. Let me put some more sticky on here just to just a snap on the edges, just to hold it. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry that took me so long. Sorry about that. I just, I was struggling. Couldn't get it exactly how I wanted it. Okay. That's great. Okay. So then I want to keep this rolled so that it wraps around to the front. Well, let me keep rolling here. See what happens if I roll it down. And if I hold it up, am I creating myself a wrinkle? No, I can get it out. Okay, all right, so let's do this. Let's hot glue this down. We used to sit in the back room of the shop during like, Friday night when the store closed and 
we would order pizza from the shop next door at Crino's and we would make these bottles and have a bottle of wine and or whatever and uh oh gosh it was so fun and we loved making them and our store was always full of bottles um, we made belt buckles sometimes we would make the belt buckles oh gosh I missed I missed that so much it was so awesome that was one of the best parts about the store was hanging out in that back room <laughs> okay I like it yay Whew. that was a struggle guys I was on the struggle bus there but I love it it covered beautifully covered really pretty I got a couple wrinkles there so pretty I'm so happy I love this um, love that let's see so when I pull this up where I want it to go up over the bottle I want a little bit of the bottle to show I yeah oh I love it I love it and then I'm gonna tie this off I think I'm gonna use this ribbon again Okay, here we go. Oh, for the people that jumped off, right? They missed it. They missed that struggle and reward, didn't they? <laughs> Maybe they'll come back and see us. Okay, so I gotta get this just right too, really. Okay. So, let's tighten this. Oops, not too tight, not too far up. Okay, let me pull. Pull this down over. Okay, right here is where she's going. Ta-da! Now, how do I want it to be? Do I want it just to be short? I think so, I think I wasted all of this, guys. Get scissor happy. Don't get scissor happy just yet, right? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to, sorry, I was thinking there for a minute. <laughs> Put my thoughtful hat on there for a minute. Okay, yes. And then I am gonna go ahead and glue this ribbon part down. So I'm gonna pull it around here. Gosh, I want that flower to hit right there. And then I want that to hang out over. Okay. Then yes, I'm going to cut this to be those little tiny tails like we had on the other. I'm going to separate them. There. All right. Okay. Yay. All right. Let's take a moment and say yay. <laughs> yay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to leave that little lip of glass for now anyway. I'm going to wrap this bottle just like I did the other one. It's not going to take too much. Um, actually, that's probably all it's gonna take. There's not a whole lot of, yeah, that's all. I just need one wrap, one go round. So let me cut this and let me glue this down. Make sure I'm still on. I guess I should have checked earlier. Okay, okay, now I'm thinking. I don't want to lose the gold part of this finial, but there is a little, uh, little gap here. I'll show you. There's a gap right here, between right here. So I'm gonna. This hug snug is just thin enough. I think I'm gonna make it longer than I want. You always want it longer than you think. Okay. 
Hmm. I really want to. I really want to stain it, you guys. Hang on. Someday, when I don't want this bottle anymore, you're gonna be glad I stained it, right? Because I want it stained for me. Oh, let's see here. in the right way. Ooh, that could have been ugly with a white shirt on. Okay. Okay. So now we got our nice new perfect ribbon a little dirty looking. That's what I was doing in case you joined late and wondered what is she doing. Okay. This is what it's like in my group, you guys. I just create and chat with you guys, and when we're in there, we are full on concentrating on what we're making. This is also why I don't do a whole lot in on my page with this stuff like this. This is what I do in the group because you can see it's drawn out, and people, you know, like my husband that might just be scrolling is not gonna sit and watch this whole process. So. There are people that want to learn this to create their own treasures or to make to sell. You know, there's all sorts of people out there that um, want to see all of the ins and outs and the little tips and tricks. And so they'll sit through every second of it just because they don't want to miss anything. And um, so that's why I created the group, um, honestly. And I don't charge much because I charge 15 a month you get all of the videos since I started. Uh, I think I'm gonna change things as of the first of the year in there. Um, I just have to get all my thoughts straight on that. But um, yeah, so you might wanna get in sooner than later because I'm 98% I'm, I'm sure things are gonna change a little bit. If you're in there, don't, don't worry. But if you're new, you might miss out. I think I'm going to only keep, instead of saying, every video since I've ever started because so many people have a hard time going through them all. So I think I'm going to do a year's worth of videos now that I've had it since February of last year. So the reason I say to get in is because um, it may not always uh, be all of them. So, and that way too, I can recycle some of the videos and change them a little bit. Um, and not feel guilty when I do one here or in a craft group um, for someone else's page or whatever. So thinking of the chalk, the not chalkathon, the uh, what is it called? Craftathon. So okay, so I want those to uh, wrinkle up and be dirty, <laughs> and I want this whole thing. So when we're done, I'm gonna clamp this whole thing with a clothespin and let it dry for the afternoon and then take it off and wiggle it around again and clamp it another way so that it's really wrinkly. So that'll be what I'll do when I'm done. I just didn't think about that. As I go and continue to make these bottles, I will think I'll have everything that I need. I should have saved just like one for last for you guys to <laughs> see how I do it um, instead of starting off with you guys. That's why I did one in the group the other night just because I thought okay that'll get me what I need here um, and these girls have seen it but it's always fun to watch again so I just put a button there to finish that little piece that I wrapped and rolled over I just put one little button I really I really kind of like this just simple I don't know that I I don't know that I want to do a whole lot to it um, to disappoint you guys I'm not crazy where I've overlapped here so I'm thinking maybe um, that's got a scalloped edge that's all scalloped edge uh, I think I might put a pile of buttons um, back here okay and now I'm looking at the color I know this is really yellowy to you but just bear with me this is why you're here pick up little things like this um, I'm thinking just a little, oh yeah, I don't want those black letters. Just a little cluster of 
button so it overlapped that one just a little bit. No. Let's see here. No. There we go. So here's nice. Okay, let's go here. All right. pretty. Oh, that one's really pretty. Let's put that in. It's too thick. It's awesome though. Pretty button. Okay, what I'm not, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'll know when I see it. Oh yeah, like that. I don't know how that string is sticking out. So I just put a little cluster of buttons to just cover where I wasn't thrilled with how I had to overlap that. I'm gonna run a couple more down right here, just falling off of, oh, that one's too matchy. I don't wanna cover up that little flower. Let's see here. I'll keep that one out, let's see. Okay, again, I'm using the hot glue because it adheres to the fabric better than the E6000 would. Always check both sides of your buttons. One side might be better than the other. Okay, and then I'm gonna end it with, oops, end it with that, okay. Also, I flipped this one over because it kind of matches that other one. But I love the stringing in it, okay. That's good. There you go. So I finished up the little cluster just a little bit more. Um, so depending on where, how you turn your, I mean, you could totally make that be the front. But now what I need is I need to hang something right here. And you know what? I think I'm going to go back to my old faithful. I cut the stuff all over me. I am going to just hang a key. I love the skeleton key look. Um, I want a brassy one, and I don't have a brassy one in here. Oh, let me see. Okay, what do I have that's brassy? I hate it. I really wanted a... Oh, that's better. Um... Skeleton key. Okay, let me look in this box just real quick. This might be just enough. Oh, here. This is good. Okay, I see what I'm going to do. Okay, that didn't take too long. know what these are but occasionally I'll come across these numbers with the string on them and the it's got the scalloped edges I don't know what they are maybe you guys know I don't know I've never had anyone say what they are uh, okay hmm, I don't want to overdo it I don't like that they're both round. Hmm. Oh, they're the perfect size. I just don't like that they're both, both things are round. Hmm. Hang on. <laughs> Let me find one more thing. I know I have, let me see here. Gosh, I didn't do anything with pearls. Oh, I have this too, but it's round. The number eight. Nah, number one. All right, hang on, I'm looking for something in particular. Oh, there's a beautiful St. Christopher. Wow, that's a nice one. I forget what all I have in here. Oh, here's a, oh no, that's copper. I thought that was it's something else. Let's see. <laughs> Keep on looking. Oh, can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see what I'm digging through here. I'm digging fast. 
a gold shoe. Oh, you know what I had out the other day? Here's a gold shoe. Look at that thing's heavy. It's just the right shade of gold, but kind of needs to be on a more manly one, I would think. Although, it's very pretty. It's unusual. That's what I go for. Let me, let me see here. I have, the other night when we were in my group, I was digging through all of this stuff and I found some old tools. You guys are gonna love these. I've only seen them twice. I bought them both times. Oh, where are they? I know they're in here. Give me a minute. Here's some. Um, that's a pretty pin. Let's see here. One of you guys bought all my, almost all my brooches. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Still, I'm trying to find a little key. Um, there's a little heart pin. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. So worth digging. Yay, I love that. All right, I saw a little key over in the other one, so I'm just gonna, those keys are all too big. Okay, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. This one's gonna be really hard. Okay, so I don't want the shoe for sure. Let me get the little key. Oh my gosh, this one's gonna be, okay, here's the little little key. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't put it all on one bottle. I'll save some for another bottle, but oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, let me show you what I found. Yay, this is so exciting. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's just a super crusty, it must have been like the back of a bracelet or something, or like that's the back. And then they, these three things hook together. So that's really cool. Look at that. Oops, yeah, that's really, really cool. Or even there. Oh, that's just one and done. One and done, and I will never find that again. Love that. Okay, so let me lay that on there. Just a sweet little key. Look, can you see how these things change? So that was like big and chunky. So here's one look. Can't see, sorry. There's one look, right? Now look when I just put this little tiny key here, how it just changes, like the whole feeling of the bottle. Um, so we've got a key. I had this thing already, which I really, I really liked that, but I don't know. I'm not so sure now. Then I found this pin. It's a, um, what is it? I don't even know what it is. It's a, a stick pin. My mom used to wear stick pins. I had stick pins even. I would cut the pin off, you guys, and just glue that piece right there. I love that. Love that sticking that right there hmm here's the other thing I was oh and then I found this little tiny heart look at this little pin it's a heart it's ever so tiny oh my gosh that has to go on here oh my gosh it has to go right there right there the pin the heart is going over the knot done I feel like the heart, let's see, if I do that, I really like that thing. It's so cool, but I feel like it needs to be on a bigger bottle. So we have the sweet little heart. I feel like the key isn't enough, but I was thinking this doorknob thing with the key hanging from it. I'm going that route. I'm going that route. Done. What I was going to show you was these little tools that I found. I found a whole box. Um... It was $40 for this box, but it's all little teeny tiny brass. There's little pliers, there's little scissors, a little axe. Aren't they cute? I thought they would be great. There's a hammer when I was making belt buckles. Here's a pocket knife. It looks like a pickle, but it's a pocket knife. You can tell in the real person. There's a crescent wrench, there's a gun. There's all kinds of little things in here. It's awesome. But yeah, so I someday I'll do something with that for sure. Because that's those are just so unusual. And how cool to hang off of a bottle. I might do that off of a 
couple of these other bottles that I'm going to do. But then I have a bigger set in here too, but I'm not seeing it right now. Come on. Oh, for Pete's sake, I'll do it later. Yeah, I have another set in here, and it's much bigger. That was the one I was digging for. Um, I had it out the other night, but I, who knows? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do, I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to do the little key with the little doorknob thingy and be happy. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm put this back in here. I'm going to try to remember because I try to keep track of what things cost so that I know what I've got in the bottle and that helps me <gasps> oh I see it that helps me oh gosh I can't reach it that helps me price the bottles when I go to sell them so okay but some of these this one I might have to keep for a little while I get tired of them you guys or else I make better ones or different one I don't know if it's better it's just different um Okay, I just stuck the pin right through there. I'm not even going to glue it. I just stuck that little pin. Can you see it? Oh, I feel like I can't see it. It's a heart. Why can't I make out the heart in the thing? I don't know. It might be. I'm not straight on either. But it's a little heart pin. Kind of got it angled a little bit. Oh my gosh. I love it because it pulls the gold down from that. And then now what I need to do is tie the little key. Tie the little key onto this, onto that. So, okay. Um, wondering if I wanna drape, hang it down with a piece of jewelry or this. I was thinking I could hot glue this up here as just another like tail and then have that hang down and then tie the key and tie the thing to this. But the real way I should do it is to use an old necklace. I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna do it the right way. I don't know if you guys want me to keep going or not. I probably have to go and I've been on here forever and I'm so sorry. This just always happens to me. It needs to be on a chain. It really does, I know that. And that chain is too big. Okay, right there. There's a couple of different chains to pick from. Yeah, let's go with that one. This one's kind of white. Oops, bumped the phone, sorry. Okay, all right. So now how am I gonna hook this to that? So that just has the clasp. Hmm. Oh, there it is, there's the open. I was thinking if I could hook that clasp to something, but I'm not going to do that. I think, gosh, I'm almost gonna make this bottle like the other bottle. I wish I wouldn't have glued all this down now because I can't get my chain on there right. So, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna cut this clasp off of here I'm going to guesstimate my length of chain here that I want. Let's see. Maybe I want to use the other end. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to guesstimate that I want it about here. I want it a little shorter than that, but let's go with that. Let's put this chain back in this baggie just so they don't get all knotted up. Okay. Now I'm going to... Oh, this is gonna be tricky. This is where I need the wire for sure. So I've got that round thing, which will give a little more grab up in there. And then I'll take a piece of this and run it through the ribbon, uh, the ribbon, piece of ribbon through the key. Okay. I'm gonna 
I just want that little tiny tail on there. Hmm. Do I want to tie it to that? I was just going to hot glue it to that little chain. I don't think I can get it tied to the chain. Do you, not to the very end of it. Maybe I need to do both. Oh, sorry, you guys. You can see why I don't do this on my main page very much. Oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to put the chain over the ribbon. Okay. And then I'm going to fold the ribbon over the chain and tie it in a little bow and hope that it holds on. Putting a lot of faith in that hot glue, aren't I? Okay. So I'm gonna tie the knot. Okay, I think it looks okay. All right, and then I'm gonna cut the end off and fix the end of this because it's a little fresh chiseled. Okay, so now I have my key hanging. Oh, it worked. Look, how cute is that going to be? Okay, so I'm just about done. I'm going to look through and see if anybody sprinkled. This is a heck of a video as long as it is a sprinkle to your page. But that was the deal in the beginning, so I can't go changing the plans now. Um, and then I'll give a little kit away to make a bottle for yourself for one of you that sprinkled. The first one that I come across is how I'm gonna do it. So it's the only way I can think of to be fair. All right, so now I kinda of want that to hang at an angle. I love that it's got a little bit of white chippy on it. So I just twisted this ribbon. It's ever so skinny anyway. And the, this particular um, keyhole cover has two little holes on either side of where the key would go in. So I'm gonna try and get that threaded through. Let's try again. Come on. There. Grab it. Okay, I got it. Okay. That way you can still tell it's a keyhole. I'm going to attach that to this chain. Oh, I don't know how this is going to go. I've not done this before. <laughs> I think it should be good. So we have a keyhole and a key tied on. Maybe we should just put a, just a dot of glue on that, maybe, just so that it grabs. problem with that is if this one flips over it's not going to be very pretty so I might go ahead and glue that down anyway and just leave the key dangling okay there's the string so I'm gonna cut this off all right so here's my chain and then I'm just going to I've already got my pin pinned in there so I'm just going to lift up I'm gonna put some, let me see here, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna lift up this, um, where I glued this lace down. I'm gonna put a little bit, little dab of hot glue in there. And then I'm going to just poke this chain down in there. And hope, hope that it grabs, hope that I like the length. <laughs> hope a lot of little things here are gonna go right. Okay. So let's shove that up in there. Test the length, it's not bad. Shove it up anymore, make it just a snap shorter. Okay, put a little bit more glue and then glue down the ribbon. Okay, so that's how I, that's how I attacked that, all right? Hopefully you, anybody that's curious caught that. So I just lifted up what I'd already glued down Work that chain in there and then glued it down, glued it all back down. Now I need to move it where I want it. Shove any more up in there that I can. It's a little too, too 
too long. Now it's a little too short. Just trying to get it adjusted where I want it. Put my heart pin back down and voila, done. I love it. There you go. So this is what we came up with. Got a little button there at the bottom. When you turn it around, the back is pretty with just a little cluster of buttons and it shows off that lace so well. I love it. And see how the, um, the ribbon dried and held that stain and is really wrinkly? Really, it's pretty dry. Let me see what the other one did, how it did. I've had it wadded up over here this whole time. It's a little bit longer. Yeah, it's still a little bit damp. Um, but so what I would do is untangle it. Oh, I don't even need to, it's perfect. See how it does? It's the best stuff. So I'll be sure to, um, let me make a note. I need to, oh no, I got that on my note, hug snug. Okay, so I'll I'll tack that uh, here in the comments or you can look for my link for the Amazon shop on my website is um, TammyLovesVintage.com or you can just message me and I'll send it to you. Um, but I get that on Amazon. And yeah, so that's what we have. That's how it went, yay. I love them both, and aren't they gonna sit well together? Like one alone is kind of lonely, but when you sit them together, they're so pretty. So usually what I do with the girls, or with the projects from the group, is I will then style them somewhere in my house, however I'm gonna do them, and then, oh, I have my glasses on, so it's messing up my hair. Uh, I will style them and take a picture, and then I post the picture in the group so that they can see what, um, what it looks like done and decorated and used because sometimes I make some things it's like what are you gonna do with that <laughs> but when you see it done like like that door over there like like a lot of things in this house when you see them done um it's like awesome so this is exactly what it's like to be in my little my little group for $15 a month I come up with the, with projects that I want to keep and use in my house and then I show you guys how to make them but I always on here on my page I always show you guys when I'm done what they um, what we've done and what it looks like and what I did with it and a lot of times you guys can figure out how you do them but sometimes sometimes not so anyway thank you guys for watching now let's do some chatting I'm gonna scroll back and look for um, any comments any questions I'm gonna talk to you guys for a while so I'm all done creating so if if uh, you know, if you've stuck with me this whole time, now I'm just gonna talk. So I will look through and look for questions. And if you happen to sprinkle, put it in there because the first word, the first person that I come across that typed in sprinkle, I'm going to send a, a little, I'm gonna send them a bottle and a, and a topper and some things that they can adhere um, to a bottle and make a bottle themselves, okay? You just have to get some, um, just have to get some seam binding. So, okay, let's go back here. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. So thank you guys for watching if you, if you wanna jump off. Um, I don't blame you, <laughs> it's been a long one. Uh, I, I warned you, it was gonna be a long one. Um, let's see here. Uh, questions i'm not there lucretia hi lucretia oh she's a crafter she's seen me do bottles before let's see good morning robin i was starting to think i couldn't see comments good morning robin thanks for jumping on hi cynthia i don't know if you guys are still on because i've been talking for a long time and there's deborah yay i'm glad i can see the comments um it doesn't always happen here lately it's been pretty good though it's been letting me i should knock i should I'll knock on the table because it's awful when you can't see comments. Uh, I hope your day is good. Thank you, Kathy. I think my day's been really good. I hope yours is good as well. Good morning, Mary from Tucson, Arizona. It's still hot in Arizona, isn't it? My daughter lives in um, Scottsdale, and she said it's still like 105 there. It's not really been fall so she's kind of missing home um so we keep sending her pictures of all of the trees changing and you know she's getting homesick for the fall uh hi marnie thanks for jumping on there's betty hi betty um thank you guys for watching and saying hello and telling me where you're watching from Love my top. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Ellen. She likes my shirt. You know, it's kind of looks fancy, but honestly, the liner underneath is t-shirt material. So it's so comfy. It's like a pretty comfy. So it's a good combination. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ellen. 
Oh, she likes my bottle too. You're always so sweet to me. Thank you. Hi, Terry. There's a gal from my group. There's Cynthia. Super cute. Thank you, Cynthia. Um, I grew up an hour. Oh, you did? Oh, Deborah, that's so cool. She grew up, it's Kitanning, Pennsylvania. I remember I had something. Oh, it was the label on that little bottle. Yeah. We always try, um, my friend Julie and I, we try to find Zanesville, Ohio, or she's got some um, Crocs from like Southern Ohio. Um, we don't even just go as broad as Ohio. We try to do like hometown. She's got me hooked on them. <laughs> I don't have near as many as her. My husband won't let me. He says, no more Crocs. <laughs> You love the bottles. Thanks, Carla. Thank you so much. They're so fun to create. Thank you, Gail. Oh, Deborah. Deborah never got sprinkled. I hoed up your name. I know I did, Deborah, and I recognize you. I know you are a faithful follower. You're the first sprinkle that I came across, so I'm going to send you a bottle um, and just some lace, and uh, I'll try to find a couple of different tops that will work in the bottle so you can have your choice. Um... Uh, I was gonna just scroll and look for him, but she's the first one I came across, so we're just going with her. Yay! So congratulations, Deborah. Uh, message me your address. If, I don't know if you've ordered from me before. If you have, I'll have it. But if not, um, message me your address and I will ship this out to you. Yay! That's awesome. Oh, there's Betty Sprinkled. Hey, Jen Glenn. Hi, girlfriend. Sprinkled, thank you, Faye. Oh my goodness, Kathy Sprinkled, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. And Cindy. Oh, you guys. Thank you, Joan. And she loves it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for sprinkling. Thank you, Carla. You know, I never remember to ask you to sprinkle. I, I never remember that. So I'm glad I thought of that before I started. That's awesome. Watching you and doing housework. Oh, good. That's what I do. I listen to Instagram stories. <laughs> and if it's something I need to see, like I'll run over and check my phone. But I have that on instead of TV half the time. <laughs> I do watch Netflix, but sometimes I get bored with, the, with you know, uh, series or something. It's like, oh, I need a break. So I do the, it's easier to shut off the Instagram than the Netflix. Hi, Arlene. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, you're all so sweet. Miss the rosettes. I'll tell you what. My friend Patricia Clayton, she watched me do the rosettes, and I was trying to keep them small and dainty and sweet. You can see I like the little things. And she sent me a picture of one that she made this morning to show me, and she made a big chunky one. So I went and got my chunky stuff. I may come back on here in just a little bit and show you how to do a bigger rosette. I'm I'm, I think I will. So anyway, um, watch for me, Gail. I'll be back. I need to clean this up a little bit, maybe grab some lunch, and then I'll come back on and show you um, late afternoon. What time is it? Um, I'll show you. Oh, it's good. it already is late afternoon, but maybe an hour, probably two hours or so. Um, yeah, so be watching if you're still here. Um, hi, Cynthia. I think I already said hi to you. Maybe it was a different Cynthia. Thank you, Gail, for sprinkling. Oh my goodness, all kinds of new people will be finding me because you girls are so sweet to sprinkle. I sound like you with the glasses. I know, I've got little, you know I have all the little handles hanging all over my house, by, by my bed, by the TV, by my desk, by the kitchen counter, like I have them hanging, and then I still have them laying everywhere. Oh, I've only needed them like the last five years or so four or five years. Boy, I, it came on fast. Hi, Marty. Thank you for watching. Thanks for saying hello. And thank you for sprinkling. I just ran across that. Hello, Linda. Oh, you girls are all so sweet. I'm not seeing anybody mad or saying anything bad. What the heck happened? <laughs> this is great. This is really great. I thought for sure because it was so long. Love the bottles. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you so much. I'll be posting them when I get them all finished. Hi, Joni. Thanks for saying hello. I'll be posting them on the website when we're done if you guys need a really unusual um, and heartfelt Christmas gift for somebody special. Hi, Julie. Thanks for saying hello. Thanks for sprinkling, Terry. 
so nice of you guys. Where do I get that ribbon? Mary Jane, I get it online, I get it on Amazon, and I will put the link in here. If you check back, as soon as I get off of here, I will um, connect some links. I wrote down the spray um, stain, I wrote that down. I wrote down um, my website, in case you wanna look at that. And I'll put my my Amazon link, and I'll go ahead and just give you a direct link to that since you you specifically asked for that. Um, so I'll I'll share all of that. If you just give me a minute, you can come back and you'll just scroll up the comments and you'll you'll see. So hi Julie, I've had just a really good day. Thank you. I hope you have too. Thank you Joan. I'm glad you're enjoying. Um, you like a little bit of the bottle showing. I do too, Kathy. I, I don't always, I rarely cover the whole bottle. Um, I rarely do. When I did the tissue jar, um, I did a, a mason jar and made a tissue box out of the mason jar. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I had a lace sleeve, a whole sleeve of lace. And so I gathered it at the bottom and I did cover that entire jar. But um, I, I don't know that I've ever covered a whole jar before. Um, Yes, put one of my rosettes on there. Actually, I have two of them sitting here, um, but they're too, I think they're too white. See how white it is? It's too white. So I need to spray it. I need to spritz it a little bit, and I think it needs to go on a bigger bottle. It just doesn't have the feel. Do you see what I mean? Like, I could get it on there. I could get it in there somewhere, um, you know, in a hole somewhere, but I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I think I should have used the cream, or I'll just stain this one down. I could put these in the in the tea and stain them. So that's why I didn't, Joni. But I had I had kept the two little tiny ones laying here just in case. But I didn't. Um, oh, oh, thank you, Kathy. She says she likes what I do. Is lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. She loves it. Um, looks like you have. Oh, I do. <laughs> I have my clip on my sleeve I forgot I did that because my hair gets in my face sometimes so I had my clip in case I was fighting my hair <laughs> you're observant I didn't even realize I had that on there oh I didn't mean to do that <laughs> I meant to lay it here and I forgot that's so funny you're late we'll have to catch the replay yes Nancy I did all the good stuff in the beginning and so now yeah we're just chatting um, why would you get mean comments crafting? I know that's what we all say, you know, when people are like saying mean things, if they don't want to watch, they just to just jump off. They have that, that freedom to just click finish, click done, click on, but they feel the need to comment and you never know some, oh, some of them are really mean. Um, they used to call, oh, I hate to say, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. I flipped you around. <laughs> they used to call them. I hate to say the word because I don't know if it somehow they can track you, but they used to call them a word. <laughs> and well, it was called the couch people, something about the couch. And man, one of them would say something. If they get a rise out of you, there'd be like 20 of them jumping on you. And this is like last year around the holidays. It was bad. I uh, love my blouse. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're right, Terry. Or a pumpkin. I made, I made the lace pumpkin out of one of my shirts like this. Hi, Deborah. I don't know if I'm at the end or not. Getting close. Uh, okay. Do you, Tammy, do your thing of creating and don't worry about wasting people. I know, but time is valuable to all of us. And I, I forget that you can get off. I feel like, you know, I feel like you've, you're stuck here in a classroom. I forget you could just be done. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you though for saying that. I appreciate it. Um, here Jeannie made it to watch and Jen send me some pretty little red hearts hi Joni uh, oh Joni's saying hi to Elaine you two must know each other that's awesome uh, there's Jeannie says so pretty Kathy Thompson loves it yay um, it's fascinating to you Terry well good well I'm glad you're in my group because you get to watch all of the thought process on all of these things there's Jeannie she loves it too uh, good morning, Tammy. Love your blouse. Well, thank you, guys. I thought it might be pretty to do. Appropriate with the lace, I guess. Ready to look. Um, she's ready for the hunt. Um, what does she say? I'm sorry. Love your blouse. Happy to watch today. I have my bottles ready. The hunt was fun. Oh, isn't it? The fun, that is the best part is the treasure hunting. And when you find something like, like this top, when I found this top, 
for instance, I held on to it for a long, long time and I knew the perfect bottle, the perfect whatever was gonna come along and I was gonna love that top and I do, it's a treasure. You know, the, the gold doorknobs and the wheels and stuff, they're all super cool. But you guys have to realize that, gosh, I've been making bottles for like five years, so the more unusual for me, the better. You guys need to start with the doorknobs and the wheels and things like I have posted. I, anything too weird and I think I'd scare you off. But for me, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for new stuff. So um, yeah, but the hunt is so fun. Thank you, Jeannie. Jen Glenn's in love, yay. Mary's in love too. Yay, you guys. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Terry and Jeannie. Pretty and gorgeous. And Jerry, she loves the idea. Sarah loves it. Thank you, guys. And there's Gail sprinkled. And Mary says, blessed. You guys are all so nice. Wow. Can I just keep all of you here on my page <laughs> for moral support wow my head's go go bigger than the screen here keep going Jeannie says yes please mary okay and you want to see more terry oh, hopefully this is before i started the second bottle yes keep going i'm sure it is okay Jeannie says yay love to see you making these oh i'm glad i did finish that second bottle because it just turned out adorable they're both so cute um, glad to see how I make a Mary. Keep going, loving it. Is it tatting? There is tatting. I have a whole box full of tatting here. Um, this is all what I call tatting um, or smaller pieces, but tatting is just like little pieces like this. So it's, um, and even smaller really. Tatting's really, here's the perfect example of tatting. There you go. So that's what she's asking if it's tatting. But so I have both. Um, I have both. There's a nice strip of tatting. So yeah, here's a nice ball of tow. I've got it all sewed. I've got it all hooked together, but you can see what it's gonna be like. But yeah, so tatting is just a really skinny uh, crochet, I assume. I don't know, but um, yeah, oh, I wish my, my mom was still into it. My grandma was here because they'd make those great big doilies and great big uh, bedspreads and afghans and all of that stuff. How simple for them to just sit and make me a big ball of that. I mean, maybe it's not simple, but I'm thinking they love doing it. Oh my gosh. I wish they could come back. Are you sure you want to cut it, Sharon? No, I wasn't. Did you did you hear my stomach growling and my... I I hesitated for too long, but yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Jeannie's laughing. Yes, it was, it was, it, tatting was not the word though. Um, it was not what she called it, no. Tatting is little teeny tiny. You're asking me if that's what she called this collar. No, it was absolutely not tatting. I can't cut anything. <laughs> I know, Joan, it's very hard to cut it. Having fun crafting on your bottle. Oh, you are, Barbara, that's awesome. You wish you had lace? Well, Terry, haven't, I, haven't you ever messaged me for lace? You've been with me a long time. Just let me know and I can send you some lace. I mean, look how much I have. I have more upstairs. So yeah, I'll just pick you some. You just tell me what you want, you know, how much you want. Um, and I'll hook you up, girlfriend, for sure. I'll ship it to you. Um, just let me know how much you want to spend. That's how, you know, you can't really say I want three pieces. You can just say I want $40 worth or I want $80 worth, whatever you want. And then I'll hook you up. And then if you need anything else like bottle tops or little tie-ons or things to make the tassels or old book pages or sheet music, just tell me what you need. Um, I am going to work on, I'm going to work harder on trying to get all this stuff on. I have a lot on. I'm happy, but I have so much more to go. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. She likes it too, and Jeannie likes it so far. Thank you, guys. I know it's probably no fun to comment when you know I'm not looking, but thank you for sprinkling, Miss Mary. Um, what did you spray on the ribbons to dirty it up? I will link that for you. Um, it's What I'll link to you is different than what I have. I bought this at a at a, an antique show, um, but I found some online, and I'll, I'll link it for you. I can't remember what they call it, but I'll, I'll do it for you. Um, do you tell every one what to oh of course yes but we don't do it together in the group it's very it's like this when i have time and 
um, have it all together, I just kind of sit down and go on. Usually no one's even live with me. The last few, there's been, there's been some people live with me, which has been fun, but usually it's just me talking to the camera by myself and my pajamas. <laughs> like I don't, I'm not all fixed up half the time. And it's just so nice. Cause it's, there's only like 20 people in there. It's a very small little quaint group. And that's what I love because everybody knows everybody now, you know, not everybody comments but it's just so nice i just love it there it's my favorite place to create so because then i don't worry i don't worry about being long or whatever they can just come and go and you know i know that i know that they want to see what i'm making and that's why they've paid the 15 dollars. so it just i guess i just feel freer there here i'm always worried about taking too long or whatever so anyway thank you vani Yes, I have a lot of cool toppers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it just takes a lot of time, a lot of digging, a lot of dirty fingers. Thanks, Debbie. Love it. Love it, Terry. Thank you so much. Love the you love the little shoe. Aw. Sprinkled again. Oh, thank you, Terry. You sprinkled the double sprinkle. Wow. Uh, thank you, Jeannie. I, I sometimes put my creative hat on. There's Leota. Yeah, sometimes I think you guys make me feel more creative than I think I am. <laughs> Thanks for sprinkling, Leota. Okay, am I to the, oh no, here's a, it's beautiful, Tammy, I want to learn to do this. Thanks for sharing. You're very welcome, Debbie. I'm glad you watched and you can rewatch as much as you want. Um, hey, Linda. Terry says, cute. Thank you, guys. The process is mesmerizing. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Thanks for sprinkling, Jeannie. Thanks, Julie, for sprinkling. There's Cece, thank you. And Vonnie says, adorable. I always love Vonnie's messages, they're so pretty. Thank you, Jeannie, she loves it. And Vonnie sprinkled. Uh, well, thank you, Jeannie, I don't know if amazing, I don't know if I go quite amazing. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Terry, she says, beautiful. The bottle turned out beautiful. Joan says, beautiful. I must be getting close to the end. Julie loves it, so I'm not having any questions other than that spray. Vonnie, love, love, loves. Um, aw, thank you for saying that, Terry. You won't be disappointed if you join the group. Yeah, it's been a nice, and there's been, um, I've had a, oh, I've had a handful of people leave. A couple of them came right back. Um, I posted a picture of something like, oh, how, how'd how you do that? I got to come back. And so they've been back and stayed. Um, but I usually, like if someone gets out, I usually like do a couple more and leave them in there just so that, I don't know, I feel like they don't, I don't want them to miss. Maybe they didn't like something I made. So I try to make it up. <laughs> I'm the worst business person ever. <laughs> I started out, that group was $27. We were like two months in and I'm like, it's just too much. I'm just not that great. So I dropped it to $15 and they're all like, it's okay, 27 is fine. <laughs> I've left it at 15 ever since. I was just telling my business coach this morning. And she was like, why would you do that? Oh, I know. I just do it for fun, you guys. It's just for fun. And the little bit, uh, $15 a month doesn't near cover sometimes the supplies I get just to do a craft for you guys, but um, it sure helps. So uh, Andrea says, adorable. Thank you so much. Um, I love the bottles, Leota. Thank you. And Donnie Sprinkled, thank you so much for that. And Andrea Sprinkled, I really like giving you guys something for sprinkling and picking a sprinkler. I'll have to do that again. I won't pick the first sprinkler next time. I was trying to go through and read all of the comments and then I was, I, my thought was I'll go through and read all the comments and then I'll just flick my phone and pick the sprinkled. But I saw somebody sprinkled. I was so excited because I never get much sprinkling. <laughs> I was so excited to have one. I just said, there you win. Oh, next time I'll do some more. I don't know if I have any more bottles or I could do another one. Uh, you're interested in the group. Okay, Jeannie, I'll put the link here. Um, if you go to my website, TammyLovesVintage.com, it's T-A-M-I, um, you just click on the membership link there, but I can, I'll can i send you a link when I go back through these questions and things. And there's a hello from Valerie. Hello, hello. Is that another? Oh, the same. Okay, I thought there was two Valeries in a row. Thanks, Jeannie. Yes, congrats to Deborah. That's awesome. And Valerie, she sprinkled too. Thank you guys. Thank you for sharing this with your friends. Um, well, great. If you need if you need some trinkets from me, you can look on my website. I have a lot of things posted, but I have a ton more that's not on there yet. Uh, how much? Oh, Shayla, I don't know that I'm selling. Um, 
Let me, let me think about it here. I need, you know, I need to love on them a little bit first. So, <laughs> but I, I'll post, um, if I decide to sell, um, like I'll have to, I don't have any more room in my house. So something has to go to bring in something new. So whatever, whatever one I pick that I've loved on for a while, I'll let you know. Um, okay, I'll send you my Amazon link. I'll post it here for everybody. And then if it, um, I'll, sometimes I can't get to your guys' comments is why I just comment everything you guys are asking for. And then I try to get to your comments so I can tell you directly, but it doesn't always show me all the comments. And I got so many right now, I bet I'm only gonna see about 10 of them. It doesn't let me see very many. So if I don't ask you or answer you, it's because I can't get back to your comment. Um, but, oh, you've been on my, you have some interesting things on Amazon. I, I think so too. I have some home decor, some super cool gadgets. I have makeup from my daughters. Um, yeah, thank you. What do you do with the round bottles? The same exact thing, Leota. I just wrap the uh, fabric around them and um, I can tie something from the top. Just the same way, you can wrap your, I still have this piece laying here, you can wrap just like this. You know, you can do the same exact thing if you wanted to. It's just round, see? It's just like that, you can do it. You can do it or you can just put a skirt, you know, do it however. Um, it's the same. It works the same way. And then I do the ties hang down and um, yeah, it's the exact same thing. Okay. Went to an antique shop this morning. Oh, good, Julie. Fun. I'm jealous. Oh, you should make it. Should I make a pumpkin out of the round bottle? Hmm. Hmm. No, send me a picture. I, I'm having trouble. You, you must have some orange lace, maybe. Thank you, Sherry. Loves my top. Uh, just subscribe to your YouTube page. Well, thank you, Debbie. Thank you. It, you know, I do that because it's easier to search when you want to. Like I was talking about making my curtains. I'm, we've just started our blog back up, so sign up for my email if you're on my website. It'll pop up to ask you to sign up for or give me your email address. And so we're kind of recirculating some things. Um, once a week, I send out a little blog post. And um, But the best way to find anything, honestly, to me, is to go to YouTube because you can search through the videos that way. Um, you've learned to crochet, Leota. Oh, my gosh. Well, you're the luckiest, smartest one here. Love all of your wonderful things. Now you don't have to go out and buy them. Thank you, Sherry. You don't have to go out and buy them. Um, oh, you found me at the Craftathon. Nice, Kathy. Thank you for following me. That's great. Um, thank you, Sherry. I try to have a sweet soul. I try. <laughs> Cheese sprinkle. Thank you. That's not fair that you don't let you see all the comment. I know it's it's not fair. Oh, there, and I made it to the end. It's not. It's frustrating. It'll say it says scroll down for more comments. And I keep, you scroll, you pull, you go every which way, and it just stops. There is no more. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go before I miss any other comments coming in. I think we've been on here long enough. <sighs> Yay! And I have two beautiful bottles to show for it. <laughs> so you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching. And I may come back on in a little bit and show you how to make a, a thicker, um, more stacked up. I'm looking at them. I've got them laying right there. Uh, stacked up rosette like I did last night because... Uh, Patricia Clayton was kind enough to show me. And then I also brought down the ones that I have to go on for sale that I just haven't got posted yet. Um, they're pretty cool too. So, all right, you guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Um, oh, you two stay safe. You too, Leota. Yep, wear those masks and stay six feet away. Oh, I hope this is gonna end soon. <laughs> have a great day. Bye, guys.